Okay, so now we're going to start using technology to help us calculate things. So whether we use a calculator or Excel, we'll do both to kind of give you an idea what it looks like. You can create ex exponential models for your data. Now, since we're in class, you know, most likely you'll use a calculator to do your uh, calculations and, and finding your models. But, you know, if you're at home, you can, you can try out your Excel, um, things like that. All right, so uh, note with Excel, you're gonna actually get a different function, remember, than what you get with the calculator. You get f of x equals a e to the bx rather than the f of x equals a times b to the x, okay, with the calculator. So what we have to do to figure out uh, the difference is we just take e and raise it to our power b that it spits out for our b value, and we should get actually the b out. And so what happens is in our calculator uh, with this, this is what we should get. And with Excel, this is what we're gonna get. So what we're gonna do now is we're actually going to do this calculation in both of the different ways and see if, if this really matches up with what we should get. So let's go over to our calculator first. Let's go to stat, edit. And so now we had, um, now what we're supposed to do is align the number of years since 2008. And so that was gonna be zero. And then it's one, then two, three, four, uh, and then we go five, six. And then here we have 23073. And then we have 25.57. And then we have 29.012. And 34077. Oops. And then we have 4306. And then 47378. And then 54956. All right. So um, let's go ahead and enter there. Now, I don't know if I have stat plot on. We do have it on. So, uh, dimensions, okay, let's go to the window. So let's go to our window. Um, so our, our values went from zero to six. So let's go zero to six and we can go scale that. And our other values were from basically 20, almost to about 50 or 60, let's do 60. And we can go by tens. And so now, invalid dimension. Oh, really? Did I not have this right? Stop. Oh, I see what I did. Wrong dimensions. Now you have to remember, we switched those on one, one thing. I don't remember which one it was. We have to go back and put those L1, L2. And now we should be able to do it. OK, so now we can see we have this curvature, which would indicate, you know, it's it's going to be an exponential in nature. So now we can go over and go to calc. And if we go to zero up here, it should be exponential regression. So we just type zero. And then now we have to change our input and output again. And we do, do, do. And so we get the 22, 2, 4, 2, 0, 2, 0, 5, 8, and 1.16 and that. So if we go back here really quickly, hopefully we can see that. And that's what we have here, okay? Now let's do that again with Excel. And so this time what's gonna happen is we'll get a different kind of a regression analysis. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we have 23073 and 25.577, and 29.012, and 34.077, and 43.06, and 47.378, and 54.56. All right, so we've got our data typed in now. And so now what we have to do is we have to graph it. So we highlight it, insert, and we're gonna do a scatter plot, okay? And again, we see that it has a nice curve up. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna right click on one of the dots, add trend line. 
and not linear this time. We want to have exponential. So we'll go to the top one and let's display the equation and our R squared value. And so that now is what we have. Now notice we have 22.242, which is what we had with the other one. But now we have this e to the point 1488. And so what we have to do is we have to take that e to the point 1488 and simplify that into what uh, equals. So e to the 1.1488 gives us 1.160. And that is the same thing as our calculator spit out. Okay. And so, you know, calculator should give you this, Excel will give you this, they're both correct answers. But if you want it in the form f of x equals a b to the x, then you have to take that e to the 0.1488 to get that b value, okay? And so that's, that's the key difference between using Excel and using the calculator. All right, so now uh, we have bluefish or migratory marine fish found worldwide in tropic and temperate seas, except for the eastern shores of the Pacific. The table shows some possible values for the length of and age of large bluefish, and we need to discuss whether an exponential model would be appropriate for the bluefish data. We need to report a model for the bluefish data. Use the model to estimate the age for bluefish that's 34 inches long. Now is that interpolation or extrapolation? Well. Before we even do that one, we can look at our table here and we can see 34 inches, that's beyond this table. And so we can, we can say, okay, well, that's extrapolation. All right. And then we need to estimate the length of a six-year-old bluefish. So now we know six years old. So that's going to be somewhere hopefully between 18 and 24 once we get back over going that direction. Okay. So let's plot this data first and then we can actually go from there so let's go back to our calculator and since most of us are going to be in class doing this uh, it probably makes more sense to learn your calculator but using excel is also a very useful tool because sometimes at work that's what you'll have instead of calculator so we had 18 and then we had 24 and then 28 30 and 32 okay and then we had over here 4 8 11.5 and then 14 and then 15 okay now let's look at the graph of that now we'll probably have to change our window and so it's going to have to go from about uh 18s are minimum and then we'll go to the max, which was 32. And we can go by, I don't know, let's go by six maybe. And then our min for that, that's it was going from four to 15. So let's go four to 15 and let's go by twos maybe. And so now we can see there's some curvature, but this last point kind of is not right. It's not following the rest of those going up. Because if you think about that, that should keep going up, it looks like. So that point's over there. So, you know, we still have to use uh, exponential, I think, because this is still curved, but that point over there kind of throws off that last one. So it's kind of anomaly. But what we need to do, again, go over here, calc. Now we use zero because that's our exponential regression. Enter, 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 calc. And so now we get the value there. So let me write that down. And then we can go back to our um, actual page and start seeing what we need to do here. So 0 0.735, uh, we can go 736, 1.102, maybe that's what we'll do. And so we said it looked exponential. That was fine, except for that last point. Now the model, so the model, let's put the model here. So we had, um, let's see, bluefish age. So maybe a B of X is equal to, um, now we had 0 0.7355, but we'll do 736. And then our other one was 0 0.102 to some X power, okay? And so that was gonna be our basic model. Now what we want to do is using these numbers here. Now ideal world, you would use all of them. You would take it out, you know, seven three five five five, whatever it was, and then one point one oh one seven dot dot dot, and use the whole thing and get an exact value. But uh, for now, um, just for the sake of typing things in, 
I'm just going to do a little bit, but ideally you would use that whole thing to get your values. So when you get to the end, there wouldn't be any rounding error or as little as possible of rounding error, okay? All right, so we had 0.736, again, roughly, times 1.0, uh, I don't know, 1.102, sorry. And then that was raised to the, and we were looking at 34, and then arrow down. So we make sure we have that, and we end parenthesis. So we get 20.001, so that's gonna give us roughly 20 years. So C was B of 34, and that was 0 0.736 times 1.102 to the 34, and we found that's approximately 20 years. It was 20.001, and so we'll say 20 uh, years. Okay, so that's how old that fish would be. All right. So then the last one is estimate the length of a six-year-old bluefish. All right, so now what we have to do is we kind of have to go backwards. And I'm going to come over here because we have to do some uh, algebra. So we're going to say six is equal to the 0 0.736 times 1.0, 1.102 1 uh, to the x. And what we're looking for now is x. So what we need to do is solve for x. And so what I'm going to do first is divide by 0 0.736. And so that's gone. And so now I have 6 over 0 0.736 equals 1.102 to the x. Now to get the x down, I have to take the ln of that side. But if I do it there, I also have to do it here. And now that can come down in front. And when I do that, that really is just x times ln 1.102. And then we still have ln of 6 over 0 0.736. And to solve for x, I have to divide by the ln of 1.102. And so x is going to equal, and hopefully it's going to be equal something in that uh, one range there. And so let's go ahead and see if we can get that on our calculator. And so what we have then is going to be uh, the LN. Oops, I don't need two of those. Six. Uh, and then it was divided by the 0.736. And that was divided by the LN of 1.102. And so I think that's right if I have it off the top of my head. So 21.60357 uh, years. And so we could say roughly 21.6, because I think if I remember right, you know, we started having some with one decimal, some with no. So I'm going to say it's going to be approximately 21.6 uh, inches. Okay. And so that's how long that fish will be. And again, it's approximations because really, and, and we need to be taking and using that 1.1017, blah, 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 and the 0 0.7355, blah, 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 and all the way out and not just breaking it down into the just the three decimal places because that's going to give us a rounding error. And, you know, this maybe it's 21.7248 or something like that with, with all those digits on them, okay? So that's one thing to note is, um, if you do the rounding like this, you could get off here a little bit. So um, that's one thing to note. All right, the next one says MySpace users. So this one, we're supposed to align the input data to the number of years over 17. So that means this is going to be zero. And let's go ahead and write this down so we know that. So that's going to be a two, that's going to be a four, and that's going to be a six, and eight, and then 10. 12, 14, 16, 18. So it looks like every two years. So that's not too bad. And then we have females and males. And so we want to write an exponential model for both the male and female MySpace user data. And so let's, let's get that into our calculator first. And so let's go back to our calculator. So let's clear that, go to stat data, enter. Now let's clear all this out. So we had 0, 2, 4, 
6, 8, 10, 12, 14. And how far did it go up to? Let's see, 18. Okay, so then 16 and then 18. Then we had our uh, females was 9.6, 7.8, 8.5, 2.4, 2 1.2, 1.1. Then the males will put an L3, so that's 8.8, 7.6, 8.5, 8.5, 8.6, 8.5. All right, so now we've got all of our data in. And so what we need to do now is we need to find the linear regression or the exponential regression for L1 and L2, then L1 and L3. Okay. So let's calc 0, L1 and L2. So that one's going to be the females first. And so we get the 10.420 and then times 0.885 to the x. So that was going to be that one. Let's see here. Um, so that would be part A, I guess, for that. And then we need to do it for the uh, males too. So let's go over here and do zero. And then we go down and this is L3. And so now we have 9.45, one and 0.897. And that, I think that's what we'll write with. And so let's go back and write down out those two numbers. So female, and male. So female, we had, uh, let's call them f of x. It doesn't matter how many, it could be m of x or whatever, f of x equals, and then we had the 10.420 times, and then it was 0 0.885 to the x, and the males was f of x equals, and they had a lower initial 9.451, and then 8.97. 8.97 to the x, that's a one. All right, so that is the two exponential models for part A. Now, according to the models in part A, what is the percentage change in the percentage in your models? All right, so what we have to do then is we have to basically take 0.885 minus one and then times 100%. So for female, we'll take 0 0.885 minus 1 times 100 percent and I'm just going to do that on my calculator in front of me instead of going back and forth 0 0.885 minus 1 times 100 and so I get a negative 11.5 percent so it's going down by that much constantly and the male is going to be a negative or um, 0 0.897 minus 1 times 100%, and that's going to be a negative because we have the less than zero there. And so 897 this time. So that's going to be a negative 10.3%. Okay. So what it's saying is uh, the number of MySpace users is going down as, as they get older. And for females, it's going down by 11.5%, um, basically per uh, uh, year old, I guess. And for the males, it's going down 10.3%. Okay, so it's, it is going down. Now what we're supposed to do next is figure out what is uh, the percentage of male and female users that's 18 and 20. And are these interpolation or extrapolation? Well, 18 is gonna be right here and 20 is gonna be right here. So those are both gonna be actually interpolation. So they're actually within our, our value there. 
And so what we need to do is uh, we need to find f of, now if we have 18, that's going to be 1. And we also need f of 20 is going to be 3. And then we need to do that for the, that's the females. And then for the males, we need to do the same thing. f of 1 and f of 3. And so plugging all that in, we'll get 10.420 times 0 0.885 to the 1. And then here we'll have 10.420 times 0 0.885 to the 3. And here we just change that basically that uh, values to 9.451 times 0 0.897 to the 1. 9.451 times 0 0.897 to the 3, okay? So again, I'm just going to plug this in the calculator right in front of me, 10.420 times 0.885, and that gives me 9.22%, uh, or uh, I'll just say 9.2%, or 92 yeah, percent because we're only doing one decimal place, so I wouldn't put the 9.22. And then if I do it to the third, then I get 7.2%, which makes sense. 9.2 is between those two, 7.2 is between those two. Now for males, it's now gonna be 9.54, 9.451. And then times 0.897 into the 1. And that's going to be 8.5% roughly. And that's about where it would be, I would think, here. And if we look at the 3 instead for the 20-year-old, that's 6.8%. And does that make sense? Yeah, that's right in that range, so that makes sense for that one. All right, now I had extra space here, but I wanted to keep it all on that page there. So, all right, so I'll stop there.